What I'd like to talk about is doing that very light, subtle stain. I know of no good, easy technique other than using colored pencils. And I'm going to show you that. Very easy to control the stain. You can uh, test it and take some off by erasing it or sanding it off. It's just very easy to do. And so this mirror I finished, and the subtle stains that I'm talking about, let's say you can barely see that I have a little green cast in this and a little green cast in this leaf there. The reds that I have is just very subtle. So in a formal carving, you don't want the stain to just jump out at you. The feature of this is going to be who's ever in the mirror. So you don't want to be taking any of the uh, attention off of that. So all this framework on the outside is just to add beauty to whatever's in the inside of the mirror. The technique I want to show you is with the colored pencil. And there is a nice variety of colors in pencils. The pigment is very color fast. Basically, it's the same pigment used in all the paints. It's just a different medium to transfer it. So this is the Blick set, and it's a nice 24-piece set. It really, I just use regular colored pencils. I don't use the watercolor or uh, the oil base, uh, just a regular wax colored pencil. What Another thing you're going to need is a brush. This brush I use for scrubbing, and I use a little bit of water on the brush, and I scrub, and that, that's what I am blending in the color with. So this is a stiff bristle oil painting brush, which is different than the watercolor brush that is very soft. So this is a natural bristle, and I just took it, and I just put it on an angle so I can just get in there and scrub it a little bit better. So I'm going to be just doing a little bit of stain here right on this surface here. So the first thing I do is I just take the colored pencil and I just start drawing. And let's say I want it real kind of darker here and lighter as I go down. And then let's say I want to blend that into a green here at the bottom. You can always also do this dark uh, too, but uh, for dark, I would use paint on it rather than this colored pencil. And then it's just a matter of scrubbing. And doing that blending, getting rid of the lines that you have. Blend it all in real nice. When it's wet, you can still go over the top of it. So let's say I want to do some more green down here. And I want to blend that up to the top. So it's very easy to control. You can go as dark as you want. Let's take this red and go real dark here at the top. And I'll blend that on down. Your water that you're using, that you're dipping the brush in, hardly gets any color into it at all. Your pigment basically is staying right on the wood. Just by continuing the scrub, if you don't like it, then you can always erase it or sand it off. Uh, but 
That I really feel is a, just to add that little touch of color, a nice technique.